Hello, family. So, today's video, kind of ashy. Um, today's video will be my birthday vlog, kind of. Uh, so, I'm just basically going to tell you and show you documentation of what I did for my birthday. So, unlike most people who kind of hate birthdays, they hate getting older, they don't want to tell people how old they are, blah, blah, blah. I'm in the mindset that like I'm getting finer with age, not just look wise, but like mentally, spiritually, physically, uh, each additional year you get is a blessing as many people who don't make it to their birthday, so I don't understand uh, like the dread that comes with birthdays, short of people who have like a traumatic event that happened on their birthday, I understand you know, where some residual, like, angst might come from, but even that, you're gonna have to, like, go with it and deal with. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. I love birthdays, said all that to say that. I love birthdays, I love my birthday, I feel like it's my own personal holiday, I love the whole month of November, I just want to celebrate, so I can't celebrate anymore. So, this is my first birthday that was warm. I was born in Japan, I'm a military child, I've traveled all over the place, I've lived in many places that get above 100 degrees in the summer, but I've been doggone and they don't have like some bipolarism-ness because in the winter it's like freezing or whiteouts. Have you ever been in a whiteout? It smells so hard that they call it a whiteout, like really. So yeah, this is the first time I've been somewhere that is actually warm. So I wanted to celebrate that with a birthday photo shoot. So post that, after that, uh, which was the first weekend in November, which is also my dating anniversary because my husband and I celebrate our wedding anniversary, which is September 1st, as well as our dating anniversary, which is November 1st. We were married in 2007 and we started dating in 1999. So anyways, that weekend was awesome. I did my little birthday photo shoot. My husband was my photographer. He's been on his A-game with the pictures because he used to take pictures and you go back through your phone and you're wondering if he was like running while he was taking all of them. All of them were like in a blur. But all the pictures that where I had on the lace, uh, like red dress, I had two red burgundy wine-ish color dresses for my birthday. Um, but this one was just the, the solid lace print one. He took those. So anyways, did that first. That was the first weekend in November. And then following that, the weekend of my birthday, my birthday is on November 18th. Uh, this year it fell on a Sunday. Like I said, I want to turn up and my version of turn up isn't like going to the club and getting drunk. Janet's turn up. I wanted to turn up as much as I could. So that Friday, Preston sent me to the spa. We had a little, well we, I had a little spa day. I got a... Uh, a, I think it was either 60 or 90 minute massage. I don't know. I fell asleep. It was bomb. 
I got a facial, my first facial ever, which was really good because at that time, and this is only, what, two weeks later? Um, one week later. One week later. Uh, but I was rounding out my skin because I had been battling my skin since uh, early this summer and it was nice to speak to someone about what was going on and that it was actually healing and getting better and blah, blah, blah. so anyways i had my first ever facial and then i had a pedicure finished that met up for lunch. We went to lunch at the Gourmet Pizza Kitchen. They have uh, vegan options as well as gluten free and I try to do as much gluten free as possible right now because I have found out that gluten, wheat, corn, I always knew soy, um, fungus foods, meaning like mushrooms, blah blah blah. All these things uh, agitate my face. So anyways, uh, I didn't want to like blow my skin out of the water just because it's my birthday. So anyways, we went to the Gourmet Pizza Kitchen, had a lovely, lovely lunch. That was our first time there and we would definitely be back. So go to Saturday. So Saturday, November 17th, that morning I taught a poolside yoga class in uh, St. Pete at Aura, I was about to say hotel, <laughs> at Aura um, Apartment Community. It was a lovely class. We had six or seven people, uh, which was good because we had to move the class from the shaded area because although it was like 80 outside in the shade, it was a little chilly. So we literally were directly beside the pool instead of like in the little, what do you call that? not a gondola whatever you know what I'm saying instead of the little things to the side pergola area yeah off to the side which is much bigger so taught that class it was a very good class it went very well good way to spend my birthday with some good people good energy get a good flow share love and light all the good things Following that, we went to um, Cider Press Cafe in St. Pete, which is an all vegan restaurant. They have a vegan breakfast burger. They have um, eggs Benedict. They have waffles and pancakes, regular or gluten free. They have cakes, cookies, uh, donuts, everything. Um, so we went there, it was wonderful. left there and went to the beach. I have not been to the beach since our anniversary weekend because red tide just kept getting worse and worse and worse and um, it just couldn't go. It was dead fish everywhere. If the fish weren't dead, the water was brown as opposed to emerald green or light blue or whatever. Um, brown or red, depending on where you went. Uh, and if that even wasn't happening, the smell in the air, it, don't, it doesn't affect pressing, but it affects me. Kind of gives you a, uh, well for me, it gave me like a sore throat. Uh, other people had very, very bad respiratory problems from it. But anyways, wasn't able to go to the beach since the beginning of September. So Red Tide has totally calmed down. Slick went away. Uh, hopefully it's gone for this cycle of Red Tide. So we went to the St. Pete Beach set out we don't really have to like do much when we go to the beach we just like the fact that we're at the beach so, like just go stick your feet in the water sit down on your blanket or your tarp or in your chairs talk take a little nap meditate read a book that's our vibe so we did that so then Sunday I went to my yoga class, not one to teach, but one to take. I traditionally, traditionally, usually go practice myself, 
Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just to keep my self in check uh, mentally and spiritually, as well as right now, that is my only form of exercise. I have stopped lifting weights since this summer, and I also haven't run since this summer. But anyways, neither here nor there. So, went to yoga, Preston went to lift weights and run. Uh, we met back up, we went to Grain and Berry, which is a smoothie spot. They do smoothie bowls. Um, with like the spirulina ones, the spinach bowls, the acai bowls, of course they do smoothies, they do olive toast and oatmeal bowls and yogurt parfaits and all this kind of stuff. So went there, just got a little light snack. Uh, since I have started my cleanse uh, to clear my face, my stomach capacity has, sh has shrunk. So I can't hold as much food anymore. So I knew if I ate a heavy lunch, I wasn't gonna be able to throw down at dinner like I wanted to. So I was kind of being cognizant of that, cognizant of that, and just had a smoothie for lunch. So then came home, uh, chilled out for a little while, watching TV, that type thing, um, and got ready for dinner. So we don't like to eat dinner really late, so we're not going to be going to lunch at like 8.30. I know most people love to do that, but um, I don't need to be eating that late and then going to bed at like 10, unless I absolutely have to by evening. I'm teaching a class and I just came home to eat, which I try to eat like. Anyways, um, so I have posted a birthday hairstyle fails video from me attempting to get ready for this dinner. Like, you know, you have whole you just have the, everything planned out in your head because your birthday's coming up you've been thinking about it forever if you're Janet um, you're super excited about it if you're Janet because it's the first time you're gonna be near the beach and warm like I had everything like planned and my hairstyle would not cooperate I don't know if it's because my roots are thicker I don't know wouldn't work so I have that video posted if you would like to see. I may put a little short clip in here. Um, but yeah. So anyways, got ready for dinner. Had on my little lovely dress, another burgundy uh, wine color vibe dress. And then we went to Seasons 52, which is a like steak and seafood restaurant but they have vegan and vegetarian options and we went there because we wanted somewhere to get like dressed up where I can put on heels and all that type of thing and we're also shopping restaurants for when our families come because myself and Preston are the only vegans in our family and my sister to my knowledge is the only vegetarian so when we go out with a big group we need options to feed everyone and I myself don't want to go sit at a restaurant that only serves like meat options and I have to eat like a baked potato, french fries, and tortilla chips. Like who wants to do that? Besides the fact that those three things cost you $15 for what I can get like four bags of potatoes for $15. Anyways, so we went to season 52. The service was great. I came in. They knew it was my birthday. They gave me a birthday card. They gave me a little champagne toast. Um, they gave me a little berry uh, dessert because that's the only vegan option. But the service was really good. The food was really good. Enjoyed that. And then we came home. I had my pumpkin cheesecake from Rockstar. Uh, which is in Oldsmar, Florida, uh, with my 34 sparklers on it in celebration of my 34th birthday. And throughout the whole weekend, my husband also gave me gifts. So I believe I got two gifts every day, um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that was good as well. And I took a few pictures of some of them. Uh, one of them was also a shirt, which I posted on Instagram. It said, we out, here you tug me, <laughs> which is so funny. So I love that shirt.
So anyways, yes, this is what I did for my 34th birthday. Like I said, I just wanted to document it and share it. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed my antics and my celebration, my version of turning up. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. We're going into December. I'm going to wrap up my uploads a little bit more. I'll have a video coming up soon explaining what that's going to be like. And yeah, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll see you next time. Peace out.